All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR. So, some breaking news just came out about two hours ago. Microsoft is shutting down Mixer and partnering with Facebook Gaming. So, let me just read uh, everything that was announced real quick, and uh, I'll give you my thoughts. So, it says Microsoft is closing its Mixer service on July 22nd and plans to move all existing partners over to Facebook Gaming. The surprise announcement uh, means Mixer partners and streamers will be transitioned to Facebook gaming starting today. And Mixer uh, and Microsoft will no longer operate Mixer as a service in a month's time. Um, so yeah, so a few things about this. So Mixer has obviously been struggling as a streaming platform. Um, there was a chart that showed out of all the streaming platforms, um, you know, Facebook gaming, uh, Twitch, and it was a few other uh, obscure smaller ones. I can't remember what they were, uh, but all of those pretty much showed some type of year over year growth, right? Mixer was the only one that did not grow. And I can't remember when Mixer launched. I Was it like maybe two th 2017? Let me see. When did Mixer launch? Uh, Mixer launched January, January 5th, 2016. So it barely made it to, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit over four years old. So the, plat the platform didn't last very long. And, you know, it, it's, it's very, obviously it's very hard to uh, compete with Twitch, right? When somebody already has a foothold in a, uh, you know, in a field, um, it's hard as a newcomer um, to come into that field and overtake them. It usually never happens, right? It, in most situations, it doesn't, unless the competitor the new competitor does just something way better and they have some type of draw, right? Um, and, you know, Microsoft did that by trying to sign people like Ninja, who is the biggest streamer right now, right? Nobody really competes with Ninja as far as like popularity. There, there are a few that come close, but he was like, he's like the most popular streamer. So they signed him, gave him a lot of money, didn't really work, right? Um, because st people still prefer to watch things on Twitch. People still prefer to stream stream on Twitch. Uh, even if you're a newcomer, people thought like maybe Mixer might be easier for newcomers, uh, you know, because it might shed some light on some smaller streamers. But the, the facts still remain that the bulk of the eyes were still over at Twitch. So the smaller streamers probably didn't, you know, experience that much growth and didn't really benefit it, benefit from it that much. Now, even though they're, it's not like they're just like shutting down Mixer and like their streamers and partners are just like their channels are just dead. Like it said, they're transitioning everything over to Facebook gaming. You know, they're partnering with them. They're saying, hey, we, we pretty much we give up. You know, this is the best route for us where, you know, uh, we're just dumping everything and, um, you know, getting rid of everything to, uh, to, to kill the dead weight kind of right. But the thing about it is why I don't think this will necessarily help uh, the, the people who, who streamed on Mixer is because it's hard to get your audience, even an even a, a audience that really likes you, to move over to another platform. I don't, I don't know what Ninja's numbers were on Twitch, uh, you know, because I didn't watch Ninja. I'm not that type of person. I don't, I don't really watch streamers like that. Um, I don't know what his exact numbers were, but I'm sure when he moved to to Mixer, they were it, it was a lot less than he than he had on Twitch. I, I'm I'm sure of it. Like I would put any amount of money on that. It wasn't what he had on Twitch, right? So it's the same thing with these anybody that was on Mixer. Uh, I doubt. First of all, I hate Facebook, right? I hate everything about Facebook. Um, whether it's whether you use it for just keeping and where you use basic Facebook like most people do for keeping in touch with other people as a social media site, or just their layout and their platform as it is gaming. I hate everything about it. So there's no way me personally, even though I'm not somebody who watches live streams, there's no way I'm watching anybody on uh, on Facebook gaming. I I'm just I'm just not doing it right. So. And I know how hard it is to get your viewers to move over to another platform. That's one of the main reasons why I stream. I stream on YouTube. I do both uh, simultaneously uh, through Restream. Um, but my main viewers, my home base, is on YouTube, and they don't want to move over. So I did. I never. So I, I gave up trying to get them to move over to Twitch and just streamed on YouTube, and and it's paid off. So 
I think it's going to be hard for those streamers to get their viewers to go watch them on on Facebook gaming. Some some maybe might might do it, but I, I don't think as a whole uh, a, a lot will do it. So and as far as like Microsoft, listen, this generation has been has just been bad for them in, in all like regards. There's only a few, you know, things that it's like a um, it's like it's like a light in the darkness for them. Right. There's only a few things that have been that for them. Um, but this generation, I know they can't wait to get away from it. And I can't like knock completely knock them for doing this. I'm not going to like poke fun at them or make fun of them because, you know, they're dumping the dead weight moving into next generation. This is what PlayStation did uh, when they were moving, you know, at the end of the PS3 generation. They had to shut down a lot of things. They had to dump a whole lot of dead weight. They had to get rid of a lot of assets, a whole bunch of shit. It's PlayStation and Sony got rid of heading into the PlayStation 4's generation. And it paid off for them. I don't think, uh, and, and you know, I don't think um, Microsoft, you know, and with their gaming division is ever going to be as success, successful as the PlayStation again. But, you know, it, they, it can't get any worse for them from where they are this generation. It can't get any worse than that. So, you know, it, it is what it is. A lot of people, there's a lot of, listen, shout out to Ninja for getting his bag, though. That's just funny to me. My man got the millions and millions, um, uh, the, the, the big bag from Microsoft, come over to us, and now they're gone. Like, I'm not saying he robbed them, but my man had a come up. That's, that's a come up. Like, that's, that's, that's walking in the building and getting all the money you can and getting out. Like, and I see Ninja wrote like something on Twitter acting like, on, on, like, acting like he's like, sad or devastated about this you are right bro you got your bag there's people on that on that platform that spent a lot of time put in a lot of time trying to grow and it, it was for nothing it was pointless so there are a lot of people like feel like this, this everything they've done is for is for nothing and it's just void now he's he's gonna be okay no matter where ninja goes he's good He's good. He may not have the audience that he had on Twitch, but no matter where he goes, he is good. And that's that goes for the same for a lot of the other big streamers. So, yeah, it's uh it's it's interesting, man. It's it's interesting. Um it it be seeming like Microsoft be cursed sometimes. I ain't going to lie to you. It be seeming like they cursed. A lot of things just went just went wrong for for them. Um and yeah, it sucks for a lot of people. It definitely sucks uh, for a lot of people. Hopefully Facebook does something to like make the transition as easy as possible and um, just welcome everybody that's like coming to the, uh, coming to the, to the uh, Facebook gaming platform. So yeah, I mean, you listen, let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, and I mean, Behind it all, some are saying like it's a strategic move also regarding the cloud and everything like that. Um, it's not it's not just a shutdown. It's a partnership also, but it's still a shutdown. I mean, it, it could be worse. It could it could be like a shutdown. And then, uh, you know, everybody that that was on Mixer is just is just stuck that they're, they're just stuck in, in, in the void and um, they had they had nowhere to go and they lose everything. It's, it could be worth. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just trying to put a positive spin on it, but it's hard to. Um, but yeah, like I said, let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure you hit the like button. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Um, follow me on Twitch also. Might as well, right? Uh, hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I upload a video or go live. And uh, hit the join button too to support the channel. I'm working on a few uh, videos. I'm running through The Last of Us again uh, on New Game Plus. So uh, recording some footage for my review and for like this special project I want to work on with some footage. And um, yeah, gonna have that review out as soon as I can. I'm taking my time though. So yeah. Um, and yeah, the Weapon Wheel spoiler cast will be. Um, the Weapon Wheel spoiler cast will be this uh, will be this Sunday. So if you want to actually talk about the Last of Us two spoilers in full, um, show up. It's gonna be good.
Uh, so yeah, that's it, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.